Okay. Let's see. You get good streams. Yes, no dropping frames. Recording is good. Let me switch this to live chat. Switch this to live chat. And audio seems good. I'm gonna switch to this view. Okay, the camera seems to be okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay. We already got one viewer and one like, so I guess the notification went out to some people because we never know with the almighty YouTube algorithm. Sometimes, you know, the almighty YouTube algorithm works in a mysterious way, as does Doctor Who. So yeah, we're going to begin with this uh, chill Saturday stream where we're going to check out the Doctor Who The Edge of Reality game. Hey, Odie, how are you? Happy October, yes, October has officially began. So that means we got 30 more days until Halloween, which as all of you know, and those of you who didn't know now will find out right now, it is my birthday. I was born at 5.30 a.m. on Halloween the 31st. Most people, when they learn about that fact, they go figures. Hey, Trippy Boxer, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Okay, so, while we wait for more people to, you know, join, let's just press start here. So, uh, yesterday I was testing this game, so I started and I played like 30 seconds to check the settings. Everything is good, we got subtitles. Um, so we should be good. One thing, let me just check the, the audio. Uh, master volume is 100, yeah, okay, so we're good. Back and back. So, uh, and, and, and there was a phone ringing, I picked up the phone and I got an achievement, like who I answered the call or something like that. That's as far as I got, then, then I shut down the game. So we're going to start again. New game. Start a new game, yes. This is, that's the TARDIS, you know? For those of you who don't, do not know, there used to be these like phone boxes where you enter and you talk to people. I don't think there are any of those left anymore. Anybody from, uh, you know, uh, from uh, the UK could confirm that, but I, I don't know if there, there's any of those still ran. And that, that box is the TARDIS. Is this some sort of, you know, like, time traveler uh, uh, ship, which pretty much can go anywhere, any when, you know? And Doctor is some sort of alien who has control of the time stream or whatever. Trippy Boxer does this, oh, look on phone box, uh, was taken away. Sad, you know? Everybody uses, like, the cell phones. No one uses the 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 like the phone boxes. Okay, so start a new game. Yes. It, it kept it, it getting vandalized. Oh, okay. So as you can see, we are in some sort of uh, washing place. We get. Uh, that's the phone, you see? This is what it was, uh, what was, uh, you know, like... Interact. This is what was buzzing. Okay, you've got news time. I've been kidnapped. Not sure how, but I've been thrown to the edge of time and space. Luckily, there are bits and bobs of tech debris out here that I've grabbed. Managed to cobble together a very basic time-space visualizer, so I can keep an eye on you. Actually, we can do better than this. Hold on, I'm shooting the fire. Talk to you using local tech, and believe you me, I'll need to keep in touch because, sorry about this, you're the only one who can help me save the universe. Okay. And oh yeah, I'm the doctor. This is the doctor. Okay. Time is getting funky. Okay, so there appears to be some sort of a goo, you know? 
Oh, time They're glitch. safe and dangerous, but you better get used to them. Yeah. Long story short, imagine the infrastructure of time and space is a hard drive, and all living matter, everything that ever was or will be, is software. Well, someone's unleashed a virus that's attacking the hard drive and the software, meaning reality itself is being hacked, wiped, degraded. This reality virus is corrupting the past, present, and future. Those creatures are hydrogs. Hydra. Vicious amphibians, sometimes used as guards by races like the Stenza and Zygons. They're deadly carnivores with no table manners and a taste for human flesh. No table manners. They shouldn't even be in this system. We can thank the reality virus for them showing up here. Okay, so. Right yes. Now they're incubating, but that won't take long. Yes, then yes, they'll doctor. smash out of the machines. So you've got to get out of there sharpish. So you see these guys are working. Okay. Through the back door in the manager's office. Be careful, and whatever you do, don't don't what. Okay. So apparently, uh, as per usual in Doctor Who stories, all reality is going to. And we get this. Uh, let me just move the stream deck over here. We got these weird creatures, which have terrible table uh, table manners. You know. And they are over here, so I don't know. It looks like a, I don't know. The the, the eyes are weird. Audi says I got this on VR a while back. Haven't had an opportunity to play it much. Seemed pretty good though. Well, we're gonna check it out because you know reality is going down the toilet. Let me just adjust this a little bit there. And the doctor appears to be uh, stuck somewhere. So we get hello. You got terrible table manners, you know? And we got like this goo everywhere. I don't know what's going on with this. Okay, we're going to exit. For some reason, there's something that we don't need to do, but I don't know what it is. Okay, what if I do this? We need to get the electricity back on in the manager's office so we can see what's what. Check out the fuse box and try to get it working again. Okay. Well, the doctor is saying something about a fuse box. Which I cannot see. Oh, is this the, what is oh, this? Looks like one of the fuse blocks is missing. There's got to be some more in there somewhere. Well, I, I don't know how you're seeing this because... I don't, oh, yeah, this one. Look at this. Uh-oh. Yes, I'm hearing Dalek speak. As I was being taken, I managed to be a trans magic and Oh look at that. Daleks. I can't send anything else. Look from here. Anyway, open the safe, grab your present, and use it. Doctor, I'm busy. There's Daleks. We we got Daleks over here. I saw a Dalek over there. He was going like this, right? It's four digits. If it was my combination, I'd go for 1019 personally. Lowest four digit safe prime number, obviously. But I obviously. I used a pair of two digit numbers. Numbers that meant something to him. Have a poke around and see if you can find out what they were. Okay. Where is the doctor talking from? Like this thing? Oh, look, look at this. The Dalek is just... This try is talk, talking bullcrap. There's a Dalek uh, over there, and the the guys with the terrible table manners over here. We could really do the hand from Yaz, Ryan, and Graham right about now. They're pretty good at following clues and finding things. Yes. But they're busy on secret missions for me at the moment. You can't see me, but I'm tapping the side of my nose, dead mysteriously. I'll explain more later. Yeah, but but you know the thing is that reality itself is being corrupted, Doctor. So I would. Oh look at this! I got a umbrella. Is this like a Doctor Who version of Saw? I don't know, man. I don't know, but the, you know, it's 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 kind of weird. Okay, so we need to find a a thing. Take the photo frame and see if there's anything written on the back of it. Most likely, Autumn 14. Time for a new something. Well, it said 14, so I'm guessing the combo should be 14, 14. Let's try this. Mm, 
No? That's not it. Okay, so over here we get again uh, nothing. You've got to find the combination to the safe. Yes, it's doctor. Four digits. If it was I, my I, combination, I'd go for ten nineteen personally. Lowest four digit safe prime number, obviously. Okay, can I go for but ten nineteen? Use the pair of two digit numbers, numbers that meant something to him. Have a poke around and see if you can find out what they were. I'm gonna go for for ten nineteen. It's not ten nineteen. Hey, Paul, how are you? How are you feeling today? Feeling better? We're playing Doctor Who, the edge of reality. There's like a virus corrupting the entirety of time and space. There's Daleks outside, you know, like, like it was like over there. Feeling better? Awesome. There's like these weird monsters with terrible tabletop manners over here. So they're going to spawn. They're going to eat us. So apparently we're now looking for a four digit combination to open this. Uh, lots of pain, but been resting. Okay, okay. Take it easy, you know, take it easy. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, stupid Dalek over there. Okay, so, uh, it says Autumn 14. Uh... No. We could really do with a hand from Yaz, Ryan, and Gray Yes, yes, Doctor, that. Doctor, I know, I know. But they're busy on secret missions for me at the moment. The yeah, entirety of time and space is collapsing. What later. secret missions are you talking about? Okay, look at this. We got... Oh, look at this. We got a four. Okay. You've got to find the combination to the safe. It's four digits. If it was my combination, I'd go for 1019 personally. Low is four digits, safe prime number, obviously. But I bet the manager used a pair of two digit numbers. Numbers that meant something to him. Uh, more pictures. Look at this. Someone was building like a replica TARDIS. Okay, shut up, Tar uh, you know, like Dalek. Okay, so over here, there's nothing, nothing, nothing. Let's see. We could really do with a hand from Yaz, Ryan, and Graham right about now. They're pretty Doctor? good at following clues and finding Doctor. things. But they're busy on secret missions for me at the moment. You can't see me, but I'm tapping the side of my nose. Dead mysteriously. I'll explain Definitely later. one of your journals of improbable things. Nice. Okay, let's see. Bow ties are cool, yes. Welcome to your journal of improbable things, written by you. Or to put it, by another way, by me. Because you are me and I am you, and if you're thinking this is in how I write, because that's what I've been thinking, that's because it's been edited by M and the doctor who just can't keep their mitts off. What is it for? It's to help you, uh, me, you'll find scattered notes to assist and inform you whilst completing the quest. Because yes, you've done this before, don't panic. You know, don't panic, Hitchcocker's Guide to the Galaxy. Retarded, or is it the beginning? I'm always getting too mixed up these days. Sonic screwdriver, multifunctional gizmo with more tricks than the magician's convention in Vega. But it doesn't work on wood, so I hope you keep the receipt. It doesn't work on wood, didn't know that. Okay, essentially it's a magic wand that makes Harry Potter magic wand looks like one of those pens. Yeah, doctor, safe. please. It's okay. Four okay, okay. If it was my combination, I'd go for 1019 personally. Yeah. Like, I know, I know, I know. We're going to search. There's a but thing over here. Nothing. Two digit numbers. numbers that meant something to him. Have a poke around and see if you can find out what they were. I'm poking around. I'm poking around. I'm, 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 I'm searching the, the, the binders and the, 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 the things. Look the back of it. Oh, Never look at know. this! Number 83. So it might be 83, 83? Yeah, shut up, Dalek. There's a Dalek outside just messing around. Okay, what about 1483? Huh? That worked. Now oh, look at this. Oh, I love my sonic screwdriver, so don't lose it. Okay, I don't know why your sonic screwdriver is over here, though. 
Uh, do we have any more things over here? No. Okay, so. Everything good here? No one just spawning? No Daleks attacking? This is like a, a post-apocalyptic, you see? This appears to be after the Dalek War or something. Well, all time and space is going to hell because of the reality virus. So, I don't know. I'm gonna use the sonic screwdriver over here. Okay, move. So, yeah. It's been a while since I've been to London. Uh, Paul says, my favorite doctor was the tent doctor, David Tent. I've watched Doctor Who, you know, I've, uh, but I've not followed it consistently enough to have a favorite doctor. I know many of the plot lines, I've seen some of the most iconic episodes. Oh, look at this, there's a UFO over there. Apparently my sonic screwdriver is not strong enough to mess with that UFO. Like I was saying, it's been a while since I've been to London, but I don't think the sky is right like this. You know, other than that, because if there is like some sort of apocalypse going on. Matt Smith is really close. He was the 11th Doctor. I remember the... Which was the, the Doctor that was, uh, you know, fighting with the... Um, like the Weeping Angels guys. Uh, that, I, I like that one. Okay, we got a lot of this, like, Dalek drones or whatever. The tent doctor, says uh, Paul. Oh, nice. Okay, what do we do here? This thing is not very useful, if you ask me. Move. Okay. What, what am I supposed to do now? Can I open this? No. A lot of debris. Okay, I'm guessing we have to... You know, I remember... Hey, human blaze the cat, how are you? I remember that episode where they were like... Uh, running around from the weeping angels. There was like this crack in reality. Which... I think it meant that the TARDIS had exploded at some point, just destroying the universe. Yes, we're playing a Doctor Who game. Oh, why is this opening? Someone in there? I don't know. Never played it. Well, me neither. This is the first time. I'm just using the sonic screwdriver and everything, but nothing is going on. Nothing's happening, you see? We got like... I'm thinking these are Dalek drones. Or Dalek ships. There was a Dalek just going, "I will destroy you!" on the uh, like in the in, on the street over there. I'm trying to be stealthy, a little bit stealthy. When I can find this game on Xbox One or other consoles, I don't know. Uh, I got it on Steam, but I have no idea if it is available on other things. Oh, look at this. We're inside a like a thing here. It's called Doctor Who, The Edge of Reality. Okay, we got a key. And I don't know... Uh, how do I use this? Exterminate! Would you like some tea? Okay, how do I look at my... At my... Oh, here we go. Okay, you see we get, like, this picture. Uh, we got this thing, examine. Crane. Okay, we got the keys to a crane, apparently. And we got the sonic screwdriver. Okay. Doctor, are you there? Nothing. I found nothing. Says human blaze the cat. Sorry. Might not be available on Xbox or other consoles. As I understand, this is a port of a VR game, actually. 
nothing. What is this? Well, wow. jumper cables. How much is that game so I can try it out? Once again, no idea. Someone gifted this to me. If you go to the Steam page, you know... Uh, you can check it out there. Also, remember that pricing is regional, so what it appears to be, the, the price for me is not going to be the same for you. Because JC lives in Narnia. What, like the... The, the, the Dalek drones? Oh, look at this. We're using this. Okay. Can I use the thing? Game is based on the show. Uh, I understand it's a, it's a, like a standalone adventure. Okay. Well, how do I do I do I do something with this? Because I'm. It's clear that I need to. Okay. Enough with the drones. Oh, this says it is available on Xbox. Okay, so um, we need to activate this in order to move that. But, oh, look at this. We need to use the jumper cables over here. Okay. I think we need one set, one additional set. Would you like a nice cup of tea? There's a Dalek on the other side of this wall. I need to find more jumper cables. Hey, doctor, any suggestions? Doctor. Doc. Doctor, kind of shut up right now. Was quite chatty a moment ago. But now... The doctor is not in. Oh, look at this. There's like a piece of paper over here. Nice. So you, uh, be, uh, you'll soon be fond of all improbable knowledge. What? Oh, the jumper cables. Let's see, there's more improbable knowledge over here. Um, how do I move this? Okay, the Daleks. You see, the doctor's eternal nemesis, driven by a desire to exterminate everything that is not them. Near invincible, their eye stocks tend to be the most vulnerable parts of the other casing. Because there's Dalek, you know? Human Blaze, you guys has found it. Or you could try pushing one out of the window. Won't damage it, but it's a great stress buster. I agree. I agree. We're getting the information, you know? It's a journal of improbable things. Okay, we got the other jumper cable. We're going over here. We're going to install it there. This should allow us to just... Uh, how do I... Use the sonic screwdriver. The enemies of the Daleks will be located and destroyed. That's a Dalek. That's a Dalek over there. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Okay, there's a Dalek. Get the Dalek, people. How do I do this? They got this game on sale. Okay. Come on! I'm using the sonic screwdriver. I'm trying to mess the with the human Dalek. has rendered me inoperative. <laughs> Let the creature's blood pay for this ignominy. Would you like a nice cup of tea? There's a Dalek right there, you see? Also, this could be like a the bundle and a DLC. Nice. This could be like a thumbnail. You see? Daleks. Huh? Funk this whole radio warbitch. What? The doctor, I think, is, uh, is talking to me. Something about a radio. And a warbench. This one? No. Yes, yes. Doctor, I, I don't know where you are. I, I was just looking at this Dalek over here. <laughs> You're a punk ass. Have a little bit of my sonic screwdriver, you stupid Dalek. 
Oh, I need to turn on the lights. That's why, like, the, the thing was so dark. Yes, doctor, I'm going. I'm, I'm, I was just looking at the Dalek, you know? I, I won't look at the Dalek anymore. I was close. Yes, yes. We got Daleks. Okay, so... Where's the... the, the doctor, I, I, don't, I don't know where you're talking to me from. Doctor? There's something from here. Along this old radio on the workbench. Apparently I might have missed the radio on the workbench? No, because that would got blocked. And I'm not seeing any other workbenches or stuff. Also, you know, I'm seeing it might. How is the, the stream? Is it is it too dark? I could up the brightness a little bit on the game. I don't know if that's necessary. I think it should be okay, but this monitor is a little bit darker than this one. Sometimes I don't know. Yes, doctor, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Okay, okay. I got the thing now. Sorry to interrupt. Do me a favor, would you? Yeah? Pop this old radio on the workbench. I can get through to you easier if it's out in the open. What workbench? Do we have a warbench? This one? Thanks. Look, that door won't hold the Hydrox for long. We've got to get you out of there as fast as we can. So, you've got to knock up a nifty little device that'll help you escape. Okay. You're gonna need three things. First, the radio I'm speaking to you through. This one over here? Take that one off. Yeah. You'll also need a power source, some sort of battery, and something to transmit a signal. A satellite dish would do. Okay, and we need a satellite dish and a power source. There's a thing over here. Okay, we got more knowledge. Talk to it then. Yeah, Find I'm, I'm busy. And put them on the workbench. Yeah, yes, Doctor. This is the TARDIS, the Doctor's home, a craft that can travel through time and space, which she nicked from her own people a long time ago. When you need to know, you can pilot it with a bit of help, but you can't use it to travel back along. Doctor. 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 Along your own time, man, that would be cheating. You might also rip a hole in the fabric of time and space. Not good. Agreed. Okay, so we need a power source okay, first. Here. Okay, there's a thing over here, don't worry. Uh, no. Okay, I'm, I'm hearing Daleks. There's got to be some kind of powerful battery in this old junkyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, me, let, me check, let me check this out. Okay, so... I'm, I'm looking for the powerful car battery, you know? Okay, now that's where the Dalek is. I don't think I need to double back. I, th I think we need to keep moving forward. But we might have doubled back all the way to... Yeah, the Dalek is right there. Huh? The doctor said something about... I think I think they like this. Yeah. You know where to find a saddle device? Yes, attached to a wall. Yeah, doctor. Doctor is just japping about you. Yeah. Okay, now I'm, I'm getting out of here. The, the, like the Dalek. Yes. Doctor, Doctor, easy. Sometimes you just wake up and there's like a, you know, 
Terror in time and space and then the doctor starts bossing you around okay here we should have the thing battery got the battery okay I'm just gonna put the battery over here then yeah 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 do I put the battery okay well the, the satellite dish we need to find like a satellite dish it should be attached to a wall or something you know so they can get satellite I already got the the, the battery doctor don't worry satellite dish we got it we got like a spaceship over there but I don't know if that's I I have the thing a doctor oh sorry sorry it's not like that I need to do this examine it's a car battery. Power plus. I need you to find a satellite device. It's not like I'm asking for the moon. Although technically speaking, the moon is a satellite. Yes. That that was sassy, you know. Okay, look at that. There is a satellite uh, dish over here. I will plunk it. Don't worry. Time for plunking. Plunking this. Okay. Okay. What's going on? Am I, am I supposed to do something? Ship over here, something about the TARDIS. We got a big ass ship over there. The transmitter needs a boost. Bo boosting it, boosting it right now. I'm boosting it. Okay. We got we got big ass ship over here. Excellent. Possible thumbnail. Oh, the TARDIS! The TARDIS is here. Look at this. This this here is a TARDIS. Interact. Okay, come on. Nice escape from the launch, right, mate? That's Hello. What I call a clean getaway. Yes. Oh, oh well, see yourself. Bay. No. My TARDIS, Hydrox, a reality virus. Told you it was going to be amazing. Yeah. But you slash. Now we've got to get on and somehow save all of creation. We can right. do that. This is going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So you see, we're inside the TARDIS now. Welcome to Doctor Who, the Edge of Reality. I hope this music is not copyrighted. Otherwise, I'm going to have to just like, you know, like. Uh, mute it. And that is going to suck. The Edge of Reality. Okay. Now it's just loading. Welcome aboard. Come in then. Make Hello. Home. Okay, you see the TARDIS we right there. We give you a guided tour, but we're up against it. We can't get distracted. So here's the skinny. Do people still say here's the skinny? What actually is the skinny? Never understood it to be honest with you. I mean, sorry, easily distracted. Big picture. I'm marooned at the end of time and space. I have to cobble together a vortex manipulator to get back to where I should be. That way, I can deal with the reality virus and whoever created it. But 
tiny three pieces of Zyton to power the manipulator through the time vortex. Getting the Zyton is where you come in. And if you want a reminder of what's at stake, take a look behind you. Oh. That's what's at stake. Your world and countless others. So you've got to find those three pieces of Zyton. And let's get one thing absolutely straight. One very important thing. We are so calling them time crystals from now on, because that sounds way cooler. The hologram's going to be patchy from now on. I'm guessing it's the reality virus messing with the visuals. Mm-hmm. Okay, get back to the console, and I'll tell you what needs to be done. Okay, so this is the Earth, you know? It got a little bit busted up. I'm guessing that's the moon. It's also busted. Okay. The TARDIS has switched to autopilot mode. Don't take it personally, just doesn't know you yet. Okay. But there's some stuff autopilot doesn't cover. You have to locate the first time crystal yourself. That panel you can see is your interface with the TARDIS. Step up to it and I'll guide you through what you need to do. It's kind of weird. Okay, I'm here. Can I pick this up? It's uh... Oh, look at this! Safety matches! And there's like a person inside. That's so weird. That's another item for the mighty miniscope. We get any more information about why was there someone in a box? Nope. Okay. Ready? Okay. As a wise man once said, Alonzi! Okay. Interact with this. Okay. This is extremely advanced technology, and I'm just moving knots and parts. Never mind. Have another go. Well, I'm trying, I'm trying, but this thing is parking. Uh, can I move that, this thing over here? Okay. Is there like a, um, you know, owner's manual to this here, TARDIS? Uh, not quite. Give it another shot. I'm, I'm trying, Doctor. I'm trying. Is, is there like a pupatorium in this joint? What is this? Like a fax machine? Oh, there's a journal of the improbable things. Look at this. We get the miniscope. Give it another go. The original miniscope store miniatures creatures who were unaware that were trapped in artificially created environments, so audiences could go up and gaze at them as they went about their lives. The doctor had them banned. Hooray! These new miniscopes can only store inanimate objects and digital representations. So yet a bit duller, but ethical. Very ethical. Go. Yeah, doctor, I'm busy. I'm doing the the mini thing. Can I use this? Okay, what do we have? Oh, we got an achievement. The disgraceful device. So, uh, how do I move this? Never mind. Have another go. Doctor, I'm busy. So this this was the umbrella we saw. And but I'm not seeing like the the person in the in the in the matchbox that I just got. That's weird. Okay, what, what is did you this? Do that for? Give it another go. I have not done anything. I'm collecting the pages from the improbable thing. We got an achievement. Small beautiful events. Just running around, seeing if there are more pages. Like down here. Also looking for the puppetorium. Have another go. Yes, doctor. I understand. I understand the importance of this. Sound screwdriver, TARDIS, the pod. The what pod is actually a transport chamber. Okay. Uh, the fun fact, she used part of the pod to make her new Sony screwdriver. So actually proving quite important to her. Okay. The reality virus, highly sophisticated artificial plague that distorts the very nature of reality without what destroying it. For? Okay. Give it another go. The Time Lords. The Doctor is a Time Lord, which sounds very grand and pompous, largely because the Time Lords are very grand and pompous. Their technical abilities are vast, and they have the power to regenerate. 
When their bodies become old or worn out, they change their physical form or personalities, becoming, it seems, totally what new people. What did you do people. that for? Zaiton, an incredibly rare element from the planet Verus in the constellation of Certes. It can be used to help power the TARDIS and the Doctor needs pieces of it so he can get back to the front line and help battle the reality virus. Okay. Uh, the specific pieces of Zaiton she needs, Never we mind. call them Time Crystals, because she thinks it's a cool name. Okay. Okay, Doctor, I will, I will come here and I'm just... Okay, I'm just moving the things. So if we adjust this, we get like um this thing is not working. Never mind. Have another go. I'm trying. Okay, I'm just gonna move all of these things. No, there, there. Like I said, this this technology is kinda weird, you know? Can I just uh perhaps move this? What did you do that for? Give it another go. Hey Eric, how are you? Welcome to the stream, we're playing Doctor Who The Edge of Reality Where some sort of virus is affecting the very fabric of reality The Doctor is trapped at the end of time and space And we are just messing around in the TARDIS trying to make it just jump somewhere or something Yes, it is, it is, it is cool, we messed up a Dalek already, you know? This is weird no one needs to take this thing for the like one million year checkup. Uh, not quite. Give it another shot. Uh, uh, doctor, if you would indicate to me which one of these weird contraptions am I supposed to actually move, I would very much appreciate it. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm going with the sun. No, it's not working. The sun is screwed. Right? What did you do that for? Give it another go. So. Uh, okay, this one is green, you know, so we're thinking we're good. This one is green, this one is not green. This thing is like... Like blinking. Give it another go. I'm trying to fix this one. Oh, look at this! There's a thing there. This was glowing. Okay. What did you do that for? Give it another go. Doctor, don't make me insult the doctor, please. Uh, we get like a thing that goes over here. Okay. Uh, not quite. Give it another shot. Okay, that one is not no longer. Okay. That change over there. Just move this over here. What did you do that for? Give it another go. I'm just touching things, Doctor. I have no freaking clue as to what to do. This seems to be a little bit random. Moving this. Have another go. Okay, so am I supposed to like move towards sparking? I don't know. I don't know. Is there like an owner's manual to this thing? Uh, not quite. Give it another shot. We cannot go. Okay, let's start over. So, we go to the console. We look at the console. We interact with different parts of the console. Anybody has any suggestions as to what to do here? They would be much appreciated because I am completely lost. Uh, not quite. Give it another shot. Is this is this supposed to be like a puzzle, or am I supposed to just move things at random? I'm just moving things. You see? Never mind. Have another go. Well, I don't know what to do, uh, uh, Doctor. I'm just clicking things now. Okay. What about this? Uh, not quite. Give it another shot. 
Doctor, this is getting kind of annoying. I'm just clicking all of the things that you can, in theory, click. Never mind. Have another go. Okay. Yeah, I have no freaking clue as to what to do with this thing. And, and time collapses, yes. I click the wrong thing and all of time and space collapses. Give it another shot. Uh, is there anything that we can do like down here? In some episodes, the doctor is over here like banging stuff. Okay, something went bloop, bloop, bloop. What did you do that for? Give it another go. Well, I'm trying to activate the friggin' TARDIS. I have no clue as to what to do now. So, let's see if there's anything else around to me. Give it another go. Oh, come on. I, I, I'm not doing anything, Doctor. Let me see. Is there anything that we can do here? The TARDIS, the reality virus, the Time Lords. Okay, uh, and. Not quite. Give it another shot. Okay, what about the inventory? No. Eric says, light all the lamps. Uh, I'm trying. But the thing is, I don't know how, you know? What did you do that for? Give it another go. Like, I'm doing this. And for instance, this thing is just over here, like, clicking. The wheels on the side? Well, I've... Just guessing, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I... What did you do that like, for? for instance, this, this is go. the wheel, you see? Moving the wheels. Doing this. This is so weird. Doctor, you're in a time loop. It's getting a little bit annoying. Eric says, okay, sorry. It's okay, it's okay. If you if you get any suggestions, I'm willing to try them because I've been like running around for 10 minutes around this freaking thing. Give it another shot. And it's not doing anything. I'm thinking we got a power outage here, you see? Because this thing... Go on, Jesse, give it another go. Yes, exactly. Have another go. Because you see there's like sparking over here. How about the three items lighting up? So it's a soul drinker. Uh, the, three I the things over here, they sometimes they light up. Okay, I, I am trying. We need to find out where and when the first that was it. Is. They should help you need to mess with the things that were like bright. Yep, you, you need to keep on messing with those things, you know? Okay, so here. Yeah. Hey, Kenny. Okay, good at this. Not quite as fast as my PB, but you're knocking at the door. Well, you're approaching the porch. Drive me. Call this up, whatever. Yeah, Doctor, this is this is poorly explained game mechanics. Okay, it says this one, that one, this one, and that one. Okay. So this one, that one, this one, and that one. You gotta keep messing with them, you know. I think I think I did not get the the sequence right. It was this one, that one, this one, that Take one, and this. Have go. Okay, okay. Show me, show me again. Show me again. This one, that one, this one, that one. 
Okay, okay. Okay, this one. Come on. This one. That one. This one. And that one. I, I did I did it in the in the same order that one this one this one and that one so I guess I repeat Let me see if there's another one different. Yeah, give, give it another go. Okay, so this one, that one, this one, this one, and maybe that one. There's a change over here, you see? Okay, Doctor, th this this part is annoying. It's annoying, you yeah? know? Okay. You see, I'm doing the order it says. For that one, this one, and that one. Hugh Jackman, tip 20. Exterminate. Thank you, Hugh Jackman, also known most likely as Paul. I'm gonna try switching the, the order. Something lead up to your right. To my right? I'm guessing we restored like this thing, you know? Okay, let me see. Let's see. It's going to be this one, that one, this one, that one. And something over here? Let's see. You were right. This thing was lighting up, but I was not seeing. Thank you again. Just take off and nuke the entire side from orbit? Yes. Also possibility. Also, is it me or this thing is lighting dirty? Okay. I have a feeling you won't be on your own for long, though. But you've got to get a shift on. With the reality virus and all the time glitches, nothing is stable. Remember, get that first time crystal back to the TARDIS. Without it, I'll be trapped forever, and the universe is toast. Okay. Paul says, why shouldn't you... This? Yeah, I know, Doctor. Paul says, why sh you shouldn't you enter into a contract with Wolverine? Because of his retractable clauses. Okay, so, we appear to be now in the forest biome of Seven Days to Die. Oh Someone crafted goodness. the thing. Why wouldn't you pick up that big shiny tablet? There's a big shiny tablet over here. Look, I've got to be quick, because you're not alone in the forest anymore. So just listen. I know the zombies. I'm listening. My name's Emma, and pretty soon we're going to be best buds. Long story short, you're going to have to trust me. Okay. You're on Lucia Minor. The time glitch that just happened messed up the reality of this place. The Slicers have invaded, and with them, the Tasmas. 
In the end, it's always about zombies. They trapped me somewhere. If you want to get your hands on that crystal, you're gonna need my help. So come set me free. Okay. Oh my days! It really is you. I can wait to see you again. What? Look, I've got to be quick because there's a time glitch like imminent. So just listen to me. Okay. Glitch. It's glitch time. Yes, fire equals hot. Yes. Also, like, there's one, this is Emma lady was talking to me. Ah, glitch, glitch, glitch. Glitch. Ah, hence the lamps. Okay. If we see a zombie, we're gonna have to go melee combat. I don't have any ranged weapons. I don't know the ranged weapon capabilities of this here sonic screwdriver, if you ask me. Oh, I saw something. It was a crawler. What is this? It's a baseball bat. Now we have melee weapons. That's another item for the mighty miniscope. Really oh crap. We could probably use some light. Yes. There's a flashlight. Look at this. Now we have a flashlight. And we got an achievement. Black light. Okay. Uh, do we have... Don't trust her, JC, says Kenny. Don't trust Emma? She no, no, not like a nice lady? I, I, I've not kept up with Emma. There's a thing over here. There's like a glitch in reality. And she was like, oh my god, it's you! Like she was the best friends. Hmm? It was to show you you don't trust anybody. Thank you, we got some zombies over there. Yeah. Might be feral. Uh. Now you have all the tools to fix time. Yes, we got a flashlight and we got the sonic screwdriver. We're done. Uh. Crawler zombie. Crawler zombie. You see? There's glitches in reality here. Uh, we seem to be doomed. Sorry. We seem to be doomed to have like the dimensional anomalies always happen. You know? Always. You see? Someone's dead over here. There's a guitar. Another item for the mighty miniscope. There's a thing there. What are those? Toblerone? These things over here? Oh, look at this. When CDP me says, Doctor what? Who? No, this is, this is Doctor, Doctor, Doctor maybe. Welcome to CDP Media. We are playing Doctor Who the Edge of Reality. After like 10 minutes of very annoying messing around in the TARDIS, we managed to come to this planet. And there's this lady, uh, this, uh, this lady who said, Oh my God, how are you? And she appears to be our friend, but uh, Kenny says, do not trust her. She, she do, does the shenanigans. Also, there's crawler zombies all over the place. What, what, what are these things I'm picking? Because the sun is screwdriver? 
What, what is this? Okay, but who is the doctor? Well, the doctor is who, you know? Especially people with beards, they have something to hide. I agree. People with beards, they have secrets. Probably this Emma has beard. She has secrets. Okay, can I use the thing over here? The thing is, Doctor Who is on first, and Doctor uh, What uh, is on second, but nobody is on third. Okay, I don't need the flashlight, you know, I have a lot of... Uh, a lot of light. Okay, I think I need the flashlight here. Yeah, look at this, look at this! Black light. The flashlight is actually a black light. You can use power plugs for time and reality, says Heavy Duty. Mm. Look at this, look at this. We're following this, you see? And we're picking up the spark plugs along the way. This blood light reveals the naughtiness happening in this place. A lot of naughtiness, if you ask me. Because of the amount of the stuff. Okay. Okay, where's Emma? We have been told not to trust Emma, even though she went like, Oh my god! It's you! Oh, look at this. More spark plugs. For reality. We got a green one, a red one, and a blue one. That better be marshmallow stuff. Yes, because this is a family show, you know? We get an achievement. It's just an empty cave. Okay, I'm seeing some timey weird shenanigans over there. What's with the like the the, the 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 reality wormy things over here like this one, you see? Okay. I'm not seeing any more things that this reveals. What is this? Can I use my... We have a flashlight. Yes, I have the flashlight of... Doom! It reveals the doom. Hey, Robert. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Anytime today. Chop, chop. Try activating the lift control. Okay, we got another sassy lady, you know? What, what was it with the sassiness? Okay, this is a lift, actually? What happens here? Do we have anything over here? No. What is this? Okay, that's like a glowy thing. Okay, see, this is the flashlight of whom? Could be. Robert says, been sick these past three weeks. Oh, how are you feeling now? Is it getting any better? Okay, I'm trying to activate the thing. In Doctor Who things, you usually she the, the doctor usually uses like the the sonic screwdriver to activate things. Hey, Grassy, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Robert says slowly. Okay, I hope you keep you know like improving hey, and feeling today. better. Chop, chop. Try activating the lift control. I'm 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 trying, you know, but I have no freaking clue as to how to activate the lift control. I'm guessing we do the here and we do the hokey pokey. Can I click anything? No. Can I click this? No. Can I use one of the time things? No. Can I use the torch? I heard something. Uh, because there's definitely a lift over here. 
Okay, can I... I cannot jump. Heavy duty says, give it another go. Give it another go with what? With, the, like, the sonic screwdriver? Oh, look at this! Did, did, that did something. Uh, it's not doing anything. Oh, come on. Okay, you know what? First impressions. Uh, I like like the lore, the fact that they uh, integrate the, the the classic elements, you know. But the puzzles are weird. CDPMS has complete the circuit. Okay. How do I complete the circuit? What is the circuit that I need to complete? With what mechanic? I'm not seeing anything that I can do, you see? We got like these weird glyphs here. Can I do anything with these shiny things? No. No. When in doubt, follow the cables. Put the spark plugs in the box, a little holes on each side of the box. You saw little holes on the side of the boxes? Give it another go, yes. Okay, let's see. I'm not seeing little holes on any side that I can put anything, you know? I have one selected. Let's try another one. No. How about here? No. Uh, because, you know, it... When, when you can interact with something, it usually changes, like the... And it, it went like... Boop, boop, boop. Okay, that's just, just, just the bullcrap. You see, I don't look like a juncture box or something in the cave. Back? Okay, let's go back. I'm gonna need assistance on this one. With the warmy things. Okay. Oh, look at this. To be honest, I completely missed this one. Okay. These plugs look like they can be moved. Yes. So, good one. So, we can put that one over there. Put that one over there. And put that one over there. The plugs need to be placed in the right socket. Okay. Then we can flip the switch and activate the lift. All the cables to the source. Yes, we are in the, in the correct thing. Okay, so how do we know the correct thing? Uh, with the black light, maybe? Yeah, give it another go. No, I need the this one. It's like when we were trapped in the TARDIS for like 10 minutes. And the doctor says, that's not right. Give it another go. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We got the info right here. Okay. So the blue one goes over here. 
Yeah, come, come on, give me. What's over there? Use that diagram to help you find the right positions. Um, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. The red one goes like over here. But why are there two diagrams? That's weird. Okay, the red one. Come on, give me the red one. Give me the red one. It goes third down, right there. These plugs look like they can be moved. Yes, yes. And this one, give it another go. Why did you do that? Okay, why is this one? Okay, this one is is actually in that position, and I cannot remove it. Look at this. So I'm guessing this is the correct one. So the green one goes down, and the the, the, the right blue place. one goes here. You okay. The and the lift. Okay, but let's just activate. Okay. So do I need the sonic screwdriver first? Banana? A little bit banana. Oh. Okay, so green one should be over here. No, 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 no. Give, give me the green one. Ah, crap. Uh, you see, this is weird because now we got, I, I, I cannot remove these things. They cannot be removed. Use that diagram to help you find the right position. When they are correct, they are locked in, it appears. It's, it would seem so, you know, because this one is, is locked in there. That green one is locked in there, but for instance, this green one over here, oh, it's locked there. The red one is locked there. There's another. We, we're missing a blue one. These plugs look like they can be moved. Will it be the pattern on the wall in the other room? Um, I'm going to maybe use the culvert. Yes, I'm. I'm missing a like a blue one. You know. Because these ones are, they, they appear to be locked in the correct position. But we're missing, we're missing the blue the one. Need to be placed in the right socket before you can flip the switch and activate the lift. Let's see, let's see if we can find the blue one. Uh, I'm gonna need this thing. Um, nothing here. I might have missed the, the blue one like way back. Not seeing anything here. Wormy things in reality. Okay. Let's just go back. Give it another go. I'm gonna use the black light to uncover any shenanigans that we might have missed. Because I'm pretty sure what happened is that there is one more plug that we missed. Oh, look at this. The improbable journal thing. The TARDIS, the pots, the time loss, the reality virus, Zaitan. The engineer story, Galactic Insurance and Salvage Incorporated, third generation. Okay. Oh no. Weird lore thing. Okay, we're going back. We need one more of these blocks. 
And I know there's hostiles around. Oh, I, I'm not being down this road. Oh, look at this, look at this. Plug, plug. I'm detecting another glitch, and I think something's trying to get through. Yeah, it's a Terminator. It was a T-800. Or maybe a Cyberman. Something's very not right with this place. Okay, that, that's a Cyberman. Okay, this is the same area where we were before? Yeah, Cybermen. Another thing for the Journal of Improbable Things. Where's the new one? Miniscope, Sonic Screwdriver. The Cyber Reaper Origins. A Cyber Reaper. Interesting. A thing that destroys Cybermen? Okay, we're we're bugging out. Bugging out now, people. If we go down this way. I miss the, the Daleks going, exterminate! Give it another go, yes. Kenny says, let's hit that like button, everybody, please. Yes, because if you don't like the thing, the almighty YouTube algorithm is going to be exterminate! Destroy the jackass! And the doctor is going to say, give it another go. Okay. Here we go. We are exploring the, the, the time shenanigans. Okay, so. Okay, we're, we're, we're here. I think it was like this one, right? Like four down, one, uh, this one. Okay, this should work. Now it's working. Feels like the Elden thing. Well, but I don't die as much as in Elden, Elden Ring. Okay, I guess we're finally good to use this. What the crap? Oh, look at this. The elevator is now operational. Give it another go. I guess you use this on a screwdriver. No? Yes, we are made in less. Ah, oh, come on! Toggle torch. Don't forget you have a baseball bat. No, I don't. Uh, the baseball bat is like a collectible, you know? If I had the baseball bat on me, I would start smashing, you know, up. Because the level of frust frustration is rising. Hey, friendly voice. Fate so fit to wake me up to catch this string. Yes. Perhaps you can help. We're trying to rescue the doctor because there's a reality virus that is corrupting all of existence. So we're in this weird planet and a reality glitch happened and now it's like nighttime. We need to go down to like an underground facility or something. Oh, it said interact. There it is. Interact. Interact. But 
Everything is weird. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, there's the combo, this combo. It's this one, this one, that one, this one, that one, this one. So this one, this one, this one, that one, this one, this one. Give it another go. We got an achievement. Welcome to the world of tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, soldier girl. I, I just I, I figured out in the end. Okay, now we're going to like, an underground facility because there was like this. Uh, it's a com apparently it's someone who knows the doctor. Her name is Emma. And she like saw me getting here and she went like, oh my God, it's you. And she was, uh, but, but some people in chat thinks that this might be a trap. So we don't need to trust her. So we don't know at this particular juncture. Okay, come on. This elevator, you know, progresses in stages. Goes Welcome down in SS stages. Lucia Minor, the largest starship in N space with over 2,000 environments realized for your enjoyment. This flight is now sponsored by the friendly assassins of Bulgarius 5. If someone you know is mildly irritating or has the cheek to be more attractive than you are, why not have them incinerated by a member of our helpful customer care team? First target, only 200 Talmars. Terms and conditions apply. We're now passing through Zone 7. Have a nice day. Nice. Okay, so the thing is that we appear to be inside a spaceship. Possibly crash landed or something. Okay, we're gonna have to switch to the Sony screwdriver. It's an awesome commercial, yes. Artificial gravity systems are now failing. But we were in a crash in the planet. Why is okay. Yeah, but I've been told not to trust you, lady. Also, you were like, oh my god, how are you? Okay, there's something over there, but this is not working. Okay, let's go over here. Hmm. The door leading to the bridge is sealed shut. But that's where I'm trapped. You have to find a way to unlock it so you can get to me. Okay. Is this the bridge? This ship But for that you have to pay extra if I need to get busy with some lasers. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this thing opens that one, then goes over here, then opens here. I'm guessing we need to get a prism or something to put it here, you know? This is the elevator of Dam! And this one is the laser of Dam! Exactly. Okay. Let's see what we can get here. You see, I believe that. Okay. Yeah. You see this one? Should work as a prism. Ah. Look at that. Prisms. So this is splitting the laser. Okay, we got like a, I don't know, some images of a spine or something. 
cryo chamber. This laser needs to somehow be redirected into the main chamber. I know, lady. Okay. So let's see over I got here. Stuck on this for a week when I first tried it. Come to think of it, I never did solve it. That bodes well, doesn't it? Yes, it bodes well. Oh, okay, okay. So we need to get the laser here somehow. Those cranks look like they make the mechanism spin. I know. Okay, that should be good. So you see we get the laser over here and it shoots up. And the only thing I need now is the laser to go like over there. Please? No, no, I don't need the improbable things book. Do we have any items? No, we get. Uh, no. I need to somehow bounce this laser in this direction. Okay, let me take this. Oh! Look at that! So... Okay... How do I bounce this laser there? You see, this is supposed to bounce there. Do we have any more of these bouncy things? No. Oh, a, a page of the Book of Awesome. Cyber Reaper, the Lucia Minor. Lucia Minor is a vast interplanetary craft designed for voyages of 17 years of more. Okay. Okay, the Lucia Minor is the sister ship of the famous Lucia Major, the largest intergalactic cruise ship of this era, which went missing during its maiden voyage to the Ghost Quadrant. Well, that happens when you make a, a maiden voyage to the Ghost Quadrant, you know? Okay, so. Let's see. That works. You see, this is good. It goes up there. I'm guessing the laser is not going to stop the lasers. So, open that one over there. Okay. So, we install the prism over here. Oh, let's shut this down. Shut this down, I said. We install the prism over there. No, that's not it. So, we pick this one up. We pick this one up. We pick this one. Uh, that's flat one. This is prism. Yeah, that's flat. This, this is flat one. So we install that one. Okay, that goes over there. Don't get messed up. No, this one is over here. Okay, that's not good. I need more of this. Those lasers can be used to open and close the doors on this ship. 
I know. The thing. Um. So this one opens that one. This was bounces from that one over there. And this one uses the prism to open this to... Oh, look at that! There is uh, one over there! Can I do the limbo? Yeah, I did the limbo! Check this out! I did the limbo! Okay. So now... Now we place that one over there. This one over here. We're doing the limbo, so we don't die. Okay. But... This one's open this too. I'm thinking there's one over here. Uh... Yes, exactly, Kenny. The Book of Doom! I don't know if I did the Doom Book Doom! Okay, so this one opens those two here. Now we need... Now we need... Problem is that... Give it another go, yes. Okay, I'm gonna need this one first. Try the red button on the left room, maybe? The red button on the left room. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! Good one! Good one! So now we place this one over there. No, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Limbo. We place the other one there. Take this one there. Now another prism. Okay. Yes, you did it. Nice. The the I always knew you were more capable than you looked. What? She was sassy, you know? She was sassy. Okay, now the door is open. The bridge isn't too far ahead. There's a uh, like a med kit. Okay, how, how do I pass this? There's like boxes. Can I use the magic screwdriver? Nope. Uh, okay, can we go back here? Oh. There was another thing over here. I had not seen it. Okay, where's the bridge? The other princess you need is on the wall to the left, says Kenny. I, I think you might be a little bit behind on the... Um, on the stream, Kenny, because we, we opened the thing. Try, try pressing live again or reloading. I think you're like a couple of minutes behind on the on the stream. Okay, we disabled the artificial gravity. Which I still don't understand why it was necessary to have the artificial gravity since the ship appears to have crash landed into a planet. Can we go up? Oh, okay. Playing this in VR would have been nauseating. Absolutely nauseating. Uh, okay. Where do we go now? Come on, open. No. Uh, 
erstmal. Okay, come on. Can you open the thing? Why is this? Look at this. There's a plant over there. But this ship was on was on the ground, underground. And why are uh, our steps like? Is, we're floating. There's no steps. Pick up objects. Oh, we got a got a med kit. We got another med kit. I didn't know you had, like, there's another mech kit over here, maybe. Assassinus, yes. Perhaps the bosses are floating on the hole? Oh, right, right. You are absolutely right. There were uh, boxes over here that were messing with us. Where are the boxes that had they were messing with us? Like, let's start over. We were over here. Cannot be out, Jake. Your inventory is full. What is this? It's a it's a an object, you know? I can throw things. Interesting. What happens if I do this? Let me pick this up. It's a radio. It's a very low poly radio. Okay, this is operational. Anything that we can do here? No. Nothing that we can do there. Okay. I'm gonna go with the sonic screwdriver. There you go. So. This is still not working. Hey Kurt, how are you? We're playing Doctor Who, The Edge of Reality. Okay, it, it was like over here, right? Yeah, but that. Onboard gravity imminent. All of that to move a couple of boxes. Oh, look at this. That's another item for the mighty miniscope. And we got an achievement. Bow ties are cool. We are okay. overjoyed that you've come here. We welcome you. Okay. We love you. Okay, we thank you. you. Yeah, we we'll, I love you too. Oysters. We left our home world many, many overnights ago. Okay. We began our journey. It's been a journey. With so much hope. Our family said we were mad. But we wanted to push ourselves. Prove ourselves. Gain more followers. Yes. But there was a malfunction in our beauty. A malfunction. There was a malfunction in our vanity. There was a malfunction in our life support systems. Meanwhile, Kenny, you need to reload your your stream. You're, you're like two minutes behind. But now you have found us. Yes, what do I do? You can help us. We know you seek the time crystal. I do. If you repair the ship systems and set us free, we will help you. Okay. We will take care of you. That was creepy. Okay, we're going down now for some reason. Okay. 
Okay. Am I supposed to do something? These must be the systems the Slicers said needed repairing. Yes. Oh, come on. Do your thing and get fixing. What, 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 what are you supposed I am trying to do, lady? I'm, I'm, I'm using the friggin' Sony screwdriver. Yes, it sounds like they're trying to kill me. I agree. I'm using the friggin' Sonic screwdriver. Okay. Does this fix your systems? Huh? Huh? Does this fix your systems? There must be something we can do. Have a look around. Maybe the lift circuitry needs to be reset. Yeah, maybe. But it's not giving me any prompts. You see? I'm gonna switch to the Sonic screwdriver. It's not giving me any prompts to do anything. You see? Okay. Um, oh, I reset one by just pure sheer luck. Okay, that was weird. Oh, look at this. You did it. You've restored all systems. I'm getting to like you. And at last, we meet properly, face to face. I'm Emma. Sorry, we've already done that. Just so pleased you're here to rescue me. I've been locked up for ages. I'm over here. Over here. Here? You're looking right at me. It's me. Emma. Help me. Emergency. Help me. Emergency. I can fix you. In the, room. the minute you entered the flight deck, the ship's systems reverted to normal. Like taking your phone off airplane mode, meaning I can contact you through local tech. Okay. But Emma, I am sorry. I'm so sorry. You were originally the Lucia Miner's emergency life support system. Emergency. Designed to protect the ship's crew. When the Slicers took over the craft and killed them, you couldn't accept that loss. You adopted the characteristics of a crew member, probably your favorite. And over the years, you've come to fully believe in the construct you created. But Emma, I recognize you as an emergent new life form and promise to transfer you to a more appropriate system. In other words, I will get you out of there. Oh, I failed to protect the original crew of this ship, but I will not lose you or your friend. My friend. Here's what I've learned from the ship's computers. The Slicers feed on attention, and without it, they devolve into Tasmans, mute, feral hunters banished from the Slicer community. They killed most of the ship's original crew. But now power's been restored. They've set a course to power bomb a sun. The ship's drive unit will cause a supernova, and dozens of planets will be obliterated. The Slicers okay. plan on getting away using escape capsules. Of course. The Slicers know the Shadow Proclamation will hold them accountable. But they'll reckon being put on trial for genocide will give them all the attention they crave. Emma, I need you to change the ship's flight plan and unlock the time crystal we came here for. Can you help? Oh, the Slicers have locked me out of the system. Oh, but there's a manual override. Right then, my human friend. You're up. We need to put Emma in the driving seat. So you've got to override those three control terminals. Charge them with the Sonic. I have a Sonic screwdriver. Brill, keep going. Okay. Where's the other one? This one? Where's the other one? Uh so it doesn't plan it out of billions. Yes, ain't no beeping in it. I'm using this. There you I go. I can access the time crystal and eject it from the unit. Is this a time crystal? 
first dibs on dramatic entrances. Well, grab it then. Is it time, Crystal? I've managed to transmit the TARDIS into the main body of the ship. Go to it, now! Save yourself. There's no time to rescue me. But I've managed to change the Lucia Minor's course. She'll crash into the deserted planet, destroying the Slicers and me. Now go! Before you see go, this? This quickly, here? Sonic the emergency life support system. The panel with the flashing lights. Quickly! Which panel with the flat? Okay, this one. This is the panel with the flashing lights, lady. This one. Goodbye. That was Goodbye. No, you haven't got much time to escape. Go through the door that just opened and get back to the TARDIS. Okay. So that was a, a you know a kinder version of Gladys, and the ship is turning. It's going to crash into this here planet. So we need to get the you know the out of here. I'm making a run for it. Okay, this is weird. I appear to have been, you know, glitched. I am now in space. Okay, this, I don't think this is right. Doctor. The, the reality glitch is, is messing with me. <laughs> Doctor! This is, this is weird. Oh, there's a thing open over here. Ma, uh, the uh, oh. Oof. Okay, good, good. We're here, we're here. Okay, this is not working. Sorry, it won't reset. I, I am out of bounds. This is not where I am supposed to be. <laughs> Doctor! Doctor! Okay, let's just try something. This is what happens when reality, you know, like goes in the crapper. Things, weird things start to happen. Ah, you gotta be freaking kidding me. I'm over here? Ah, this is the ball crap. You got no save points in between. The game's still in beta or in alpha? I think it's probably released from like a, you know, like a couple of years ago. Welcome to the SS Lucia Minor, the largest starship in end space, with over 2,000 environments realized for your enjoyment. This flight is now sponsored by the friendly assassins of Pulgarius 5. If someone you know is mildly uh. irritating or has the cheek to be more attractive than you are, I know someone who's mildly irritating. Started. By a member of our helpful customer care team. First target, only 200 Calmars. Terms and conditions apply. We're now passing through Zone 7. Have a nice day. No, this is a, it's actually a port of a virtual reality, you know, like game. Artificial gravity. Hey, Jason. Are now failing on board gravity. So. Let's see if we can do this fast. I, I believe we could. But that's where I'm trapped. You have to find a way to unlock it so you can get to me. This ship uses a fiber optic 
optic laser interface. State-of-the-art stuff. I helped to install it. So if you want to take control of this ship and set me free... This here has more patience than most of us. Yeah. I, be, I believe we I, I believe we can do this like fast, you know? Week when I first tried it. Come to think of it, I never did solve it. Down playing well, Halo with the boys. Time to join in for some Doctor Who. Okay, good. Awesome. We're doing the Doctor Who thing. Okay. Like I said, I believe I believe we can do this relatively fast because I know what I what is it that I'm doing right now. Just a second. Ah oh, crap. Okay, so yeah, puzzles. Oh, look at this. There was no need to limbo. No need to limbo at all. I could just use the lasers. Uh, okay. So, we put that over there. We put this one over there. We can do this. We can do this fast. You just arrived, Jason, after a cataclysmic reality failure situation caused us to just lose all progress to the game. Activate the laser. Yeah. Okay, so um, this one goes over there, and this one opens over there, and we get this one, and now this one over there. Okay, and we got another achievement. The big brain, but I already got this achievement. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know. The premise of every old Doctor Who episode, yeah. No, false alarm. It's just indigestion. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Bloom. Okay, so we go back here. It was, it was not too far away. If it glitches uh, again, I'm done. That much, I can tell you. Okay, now this was like over here. This was not here. Um... Uh, This was the way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this was the way. We go down. Oh, come on. That. Onboard gravity imminent. Okay, we're gonna talk to these jackasses. Got this. Manual saving may have been a good thing to add in the development of this game. Maybe. Yeah, I know. These guys are like maniacs. We love you. Yeah, I love you too. Yeah, I love you too. You are murderers and interlopers. We began our journey. It's been a journey. It's been a journey. So much hope. Our family said we were mad. You are mad. But we wanted to push ourselves. Yes, nothing but love here. Gain more followers. More followers. But there was a malfunction. You follow me our... on Twitter, you know? There was a malfunction in our. Yeah, family. you follow the Twitter. There. Was there. A malfunction and you joined the Discord. There. Type exclamation mark Discord, exclamation mark Twitter. You joined. You followers. Navigation systems condemned our ship to float in a void of nowhere, and that's for all eternity. Yes. But now you have found us. Now you can help us. Halo Infinite is unfinished. No, no, it's just it's just a port that had a glitch. Let's just put things in perspective. It's a port of a VR game 
that had a glitch. I think the the game is called like in VR the Edge of Eternity or something like that. This non-VR port is the edge of reality. Okay, we need to do this. We need to do this and that. You see now now that we, I know what to do is is faster. Okay. You've restored all systems. You see? I'm getting to like you. Emma is Emma actually lost. like a, the computer. Properly. Face to face. I'm Emma. Sorry, we've already done that. Just so pleased you're here to rescue me. I've been locked up for ages. I'm over here. Over here. Over here. Emergency. Right at me. It's me. Emma. Help me. Help me. And you use uh, the time crystal at the end, and I don't know. We'll see. And I'm back in the room. Hey, doctor. The minute you entered the flight deck, the ship's systems reverted to normal. Like taking your phone off airplane mode, meaning I can contact you through local tech. But Emma, I am sorry. I'm so sorry. You were originally in Volusia Miner's emergency life support system, designed to protect the ship's crew. When the Slicers took over the craft and killed them, you couldn't accept that loss. You adopted the characteristics of a crew member. Hey, James Herman became a member. Awesome. I don't know if that's an automatic, uh, you know, renewal or if uh, James is here, but. Thank you. I recognize you as an emergent new life form and promise to transfer you to a more appropriate system. In other words, I will get you out of there. Oh, I failed to protect the original. Okay, Emmer, I know. Emmer is here now, you see? You or your friend. This lady over here. My friend. Here's what I've learned from the ship's computers. The Slicers feed on attention, and without it, they devolve into Tasmans, mute, feral hunters banished from the Slicer community. They killed most of the ship's original crew. But now power's been restored. They've this looks a like a no man's sky. The, sun. the ship's drive unit will cause a supernova. Yes. And dozens of planets will be obliterated. The so they're gonna crash the ship into the a sun in order to turn it into a supernova. Of course. The Slicers know the Shadow Proclamation will hold them accountable. But they'll reckon being put on trial for genocide will give them all the attention they crave. Emma. I need you to change the ship's flight plan and unlock the time crystal we came here for. Can you help? Time crystal is right here. Oh, the Slicers have locked me out of the system. Oh, but there's a manual override. Right then, my human friend. You're up. We need to put Emma in the driving seat. So you've got to override those three control terminals. Yeah, I'm trying, Charge Doctor. Sonic. Okay. Thrill, keep going. There we go. And eject it from the unit. They love us to death is what it really sounded me. Ah. Okay, well, it took us like a few minutes, but we managed to get back to the same part where we were. I've managed to transmit the TARDIS into the main body of the ship. Go to it! Now! Okay. Save yourself! There's no time to rescue me, but I've managed to change the Lucia Minus course. She'll crash into the deserted planet, destroying the Slicers and me. Now go! Wow. Okay. I thought I had first dibs on dramatic entrances. Well, grab it then. I already Before got it. Before you go, quickly, Sonic the emergency life support system. The panel with the flashing lights. Quickly! I'm doing it. Goodbye. Okay. That was See ya. Kindness. No, you haven't got much time to escape. Go through the door that just opened and get back to the TARDIS. Maybe uh, leave right when the door is open? No, I'm, I'm trying. I, I just gotta be careful not to glitch out of reality. There's the TARDIS. There's the TARDIS. Here we go. We hope to welcome you aboard again. In the afterlife. Uh we did it. We did it. We're in the TARDIS. Yes, Lalaya. Okay, Welcome we're in the TARDIS. Ah, oh, Jesus. That was the first time crystal. 
We just need two more, then I can escape and save the universe from the reality virus. Sounds easy when you say it quickly, doesn't it? But you know what? You managed to get something else very important. When you zapped the controls, you downloaded Emma into the sonic screwdriver. I offered the Slicers the same chance of escape, but they chose to go out in a blaze of... Well, you can't really call it glory. Okay, we've got a second time crystal to get our mitts on. When you were on Lucia Minor, Medipods implanted a nanotranslator into your brain. You won't have felt a thing, and they're harmless. The TARDIS is going to transmit Emma's thoughts into the translator, so you'll be able to hear her wherever you are. All the knowledge she extracted from the ship's data banks is now in her memory. So basically now I have Gladys in my head. Great team. At least I hope so. If you don't, it's end of the world time. So no pressure then. Yes, she's in the sonic screwdriver. Weird. Yes. Me, talking to you like this via the nanotranslator in your brain. I can talk to you, offer advice, process readings and data and stuff like that. Yes. But I can't help you in any physical sense. Soz. Souls. Okay, Activate so... Activate the TARDIS when you're ready. Yeah, I'm busy, Doctor. I'm looking at the things, you see? These are all the, like, the little things that we collected. The umbrella, the things, this is the baseball bat, TARDIS, blood of grad a glass... I don't know, man. That's a scary way. talk. Oh, the guy, the guy in the matchbox! Look at this! Nice. Okay, and there's a... Okay, let's see. The Journal of Improbable Things. So, we got the Cyber Reaper, we got the Daleks, we got the Lucia Minor, the Miniscopes, we got the Sonic Screwdriver, the TARDIS, the Engineering Story, the Pod, the Reality Virus, the Time Lords, and Zyton. Okay. The database on this thing is unreal. Did you I... know that Loch Ness contains more water than every lake in England and Wales put together? Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. But I bet you didn't know. And the the Nessie, you the know? The Loch Ness Monster. Yes. It's actually a reptilian cyborg from another planet. Natch. Press that button. Weird. Okay, so what what button do you want me to press? Sorry, I, I was not uh, not paying attention. We were like 15 minutes trying to activate this thing and I, I, I... There are so many buttons on this thing. Go on, try pressing him. Spoilers, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we keep getting this guy even though we already have him. Okay, give me the help, please. I'm, I'm pressing the buttons. Come on, we already spent like 15 minutes doing this uh, at the start of the stream. Are you going to tell me which button I need to press? Or is this just going to be the bullcrap? Also, I think this is how the TARDIS is actually operated. The doctor just presses random things, you know? There you go. Also, I think, like I said, this thing is very vaguely dirty. You know, it's kind of dirty. Okay, what else? Have any prompts? I'll just. Put Hello, them. London. Years a bit fuzzy, but end of the Victorian era, I'm guessing. And from the readings the TARDIS is relaying to me, I'd say the time crystal is... Oh, you know what? I think it's in the time cabinet of the late but unlamented Magnus Greel, which makes my spidey senses start to tingle big time. You have Let's spidey take a senses? Let's look where we are. Okay. I can't guide you this time. I've got too much to do back here. But Emma will help you. Like I said, the TARDIS is going to patch her directly through to you. She should be able to track the time crystal. So get out there, find it, bring it back, and don't hang about. Evil and me go way back, and I can't put my finger on it, but somewhere out there, evil is waiting. Good luck. Okay. So am I supposed to just open this? No? Oh! There we go.
Okay, we are in Victorian era London. Eyes on the prize, eh? Yes. Don't forget, we're trying to locate Manfred Grail's house. Yes, Manfred Grail's house. But you know what? We've been streaming for a couple hours, and I guess I guess we're done. You know, even though it, uh, some of the like the puzzles were a bit frustrating, I like this game. So I've decided we're going to play through this game on stream. You know, so if time permits, maybe this Wednesday we will take another crack at this. So for now, just gonna go over here. So yeah, that was the first stream of the full playthrough that we're going to do of Doctor Who The Edge of Reality. And remember, like in a couple hours, we will get another session of uh, another episode of uh, the Mortuary Assistant. And this is a good one, you know? So yeah, the sassiness of Gladys is stuck right in the brain. Exactly. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this stream. That's it for now. And uh, see you next time.